The Focus Shockwave has advanced features and benefits, both from a technological standpoint as well as for ease of use. Be aware that Focus Shockwave is a medical treatment that can only be applied by qualified medical professionals. Lift the main unit from the box carefully. The device weighs 21 kilograms, so take care of your back. First, a closer look at the accessories. The handpiece is the most important and expensive part of the unit. Two standoffs. The fixation ring for the standoff. A small bottle of silicon oil, which is needed for the standoff. A 500 milliliter bottle of silicon oil to refill the small bottle. A water bag needed to fill up the cooling system of the main unit. This bag should be filled with demineralized water before starting the installation process. Demineralized water is not provided with the device. A bottle of acoustic gel needed for optimal energy transfer. The handpiece holster with fixation tools. A power cord and an operating manual on CD-ROM. We will now mount the handpiece holster. This holster can be installed on either side of the unit according to user preference. If mounted on the left side, first remove the plastic caps from the screw insertion points. Connect the handpiece to the main unit. The serial number of the handpiece is marked on this label. Take note of it as you may need it for servicing the device. Insert the handpiece connector in the appropriate slot on the main unit. The connection should be smooth and without resistance. Once the module is properly connected, turn the black dial clockwise to the furthest point without forcing it. Then place the handpiece on the holster. Connect the power cord to the mains and switch on the unit at the back. The display should light up along with instructions to guide you through the process of filling up the main unit with water. Follow the instructions carefully, step by step. If you make a mistake, switch off the device and start the procedure again. The first step consists of filling the water bag with demineralized water. Connect the water bag to the white connector on the back of the device. Hold the water bag above the unit to fill via gravity. Then press OK. Do not squeeze the bag to speed up the process. Check the display showing the status of the filling process. This may take several minutes. When the water filling is completed, the display will prompt you to remove the water bag and touch OK. The device will test the water level. At the end of this test, if more water is needed, you may be asked to reconnect the water bag. When the filling process is completed, you will be asked to perform a single shock by pressing the start button on the handpiece once. Conclude by touching OK. Your unit is now ready to use. Let's move on to the user interface. The first screen is the parameter entry screen where you can set up your treatment parameters. On this screen, you can also access the menu and configuration where the preset treatment protocols are stored. First, select the menu button, touch the setup button, and confirm by pressing OK, which will bring you to the setup options. Define your language and time by selecting the appropriate button. Confirm each selection with OK. Touch the menu exit button to return to the home screen where you will set your treatment parameters. Select energy and adjust using the up and down arrows. Select shocks to adjust the number of shocks you want to apply during the treatment session. 
select frequency and adjust, again using the up and down arrows. Be aware that frequency is linked to the energy level. High frequencies are only available with low energy levels. You can check the range in the manual. You will notice white versus green figures on the parameter screen. The white figures show the treatment parameters that will be used for your treatment. The green figures give information on the treatment progress, the completed shocks and total energy delivered in joules. When you have defined the settings, you can start treatment. Depending on the treatment depth, you can decide whether or not to use standoffs. When you want to achieve the deepest level of penetration, do not use a standoff. Apply the gel to the treatment area. Position the handpiece on the gel and start the treatment by pushing the start button once. The treatment can be interrupted at any time by pushing the start button again. When the unit has completed the defined amount of shocks, the treatment will end automatically. For medium penetration, use the round standoff. For superficial application, use the conical standoff. To install the standoff on the handpiece, start with applying silicon gel on the surface of the handpiece. Only a few drops are needed. Put the standoff in the ring and fix the ring on the handpiece by turning it clockwise. In order to remove the standoff, turn the ring counterclockwise and remove the standoff. You can wipe it with a tissue if you are not going to use it again. The device also offers a range of preset protocols which can be accessed via the configuration button. Selecting the orthopedic indications button will bring you to a list of indications. There are eight indications in total. Select the appropriate indication. Touch the load button to confirm your selected indication. The preset parameters will be displayed on the screen. If you want to learn more about the indication and guidelines of the treatment protocol, touch the indication name to open the information screen. Use the up down arrows to scroll through the information. You can modify the parameters for energy, shocks and frequency if needed. Before starting a treatment, always touch the screen once anywhere to confirm the settings. Install the appropriate standoff as indicated in the protocol guidelines and start the treatment by pushing the start button on the handpiece. If you go back to the configuration screen, you'll see a button called in-house applications above the orthopedic indications button. This is where you can store customized protocols per patient. There are two ways to define a treatment protocol for your patient. You can either start in the parameter screen or you can start from an existing orthopedic indication and adjust parameters. In the parameter screen, we can change the parameters using the up and down arrows. Once we have set the parameters, we can save the protocol as follows. Press the menu button, then touch save configuration. Confirm with OK and save by touching the save button. An automatically generated name will be created for your protocol using the current date and time. Touch this button in order to overwrite this default name with a name of your choice. Confirm with OK. When you want to retrieve your custom protocol, Select the in-house applications button to choose the required protocol. 
you can add and store additional information about the custom protocol by touching the protocol button. You can insert information about diagnosis, treatment area and pain intensity on the VAS scale. The first window shows diagnosis and treatment area which are not specific to a treatment session. Touch the down arrow to go to the next window showing information that is specific to a treatment session. The VAS score can be defined and stored for each treatment session allowing you to see the pain progression throughout the sessions. The number of the session is displayed before treatment and the parameters of the session are automatically stored and displayed. You can use the up down arrows to scroll through the treatment sessions. Insert the USB stick in the slot at the back of the device. Touch the menu button on the main screen, select data transfer and confirm with OK. Select export treatment data and confirm with OK. A pop-up will appear when the export of data is completed. Touch OK and remove the USB stick. The data is stored in .csv format and can be viewed and processed on your computer. We will now take a tour through the menu items on the screen. Actual value reset. This resets the green treatment figures on the parameter screen to zero. Save configuration. This was shown earlier when explaining the patient custom protocol. Load configuration. This brings you to the preset and custom protocols. Setup. The Info button provides technical information about the device and software. Language and Time button allows for setting your language and date and time. The Calibration button allows for calibrating the touch screen. Use this button if the screen is no longer responding to your touch. Use the down arrow to scroll to more setup buttons. Drain water sets out the process of draining the water from the device. This is something you might need to do before transporting the device. Fill water allows you to add water to the main unit, but this is something the device will notify you about when the water level is too low. The degas water circuit button allows you to eliminate air bubbles in the water. This might be required if you have received frequent notifications related to the water level. Reset water change time. Each time when you change the water, it is recommended to store this date and time in the device. Set millijoules per millimeters squared MPA and set shockwave number energy allows you to choose the unit readout on the parameter screen. When the auto frequency is on, the frequency will be automatically adjusted to the energy level. Higher energy levels are associated with lower frequencies. Warning History provides a log of the warning messages. Software Update is for the technician's use. Predefined Indications allows you to turn the predefined protocols on or off. Print allows for printing treatment data but only on printers that meet specific requirements as explained in the manual. Data transfer allow you to export the treatment data as explained earlier or for backup and restore procedures. Select the water drainage button from the setup screen. 
The water drainage process is the reverse of the water filling process. Connect the water bag to the white connector on the back of the device. Hold the water bag below the unit to drain via gravity. Follow the instructions on the screen.